to change the functions palette you need to have a vi open to open a new vi either you can press ctrl n or you can go to the file menu and then select new vi after the new vi is opens you have to move to the block diagram to have access to the functions palette once on the block diagram right click the block diagram and the functions palette becomes visible to change the options you need to tag the pin after you have tagged the pin uh, you can now view the customize uh, menu go to the customize menu and then proceed to view this palette as there you can see seven different options we'll go through them one by one the first option is category standard selecting it you are presented with the following view second option is category icons and text this is the most preferred view you can see the categories the icons and the names if you choose the third option icons then only the icons are visible no text beneath the icons or neither the categories if you choose icons and text then both icon and text only are visible but the categories are not visible if you choose text option then only the text uh, is visible and the subcategories if you choose the last item the tree item then the main menus and the sub menus are visible as text but based on a tree so whichever view suits you you can choose that one when you right click on the block diagram the palettes appear in a certain way in the current view you can see that the main category is programming and its subcategories are visible if that is not what you are presently working and you would want some other category to be open by default what you can do is you can tag this pin so that uh, the menu is visible visible then you go to the customize and from there you can choose the change visible palettes a dialog box opens with a number of uh, options checked so whichever palette is it that you want to open when you right click you can select that one and leave the other ones open suppose you want only the express palette visible so if i remove check marks next to other other ones and then press i suppose you can use this uh, buttons here which state select all or deselect all or restore defaults so if i deselect all and then select only the express one and then press ok and now if i right click then only the express palette is available the other palettes have not gone they are still available uh, you can see that there is a uh, two downward pointing arrows if you press those then the other palettes are also visible but mostly we work with the programming palette so to make it uh, the default one 
we go back to the customize then change the visible palette then we select uh, restore default as you can see the topmost checked one is programming that one that is the one which will be visible when we right click if I close this and right click then the programming palette which was the topmost checked one checked part uh, category is visible so you can arrange your visible categories for quick access in this manner one more thing regarding this topic if you right click the option to change the order of these main categories is not available but if you tag the functions palette then you can see these double parallel lines to the left of the category names you can use these to move the categories around for example I can move the programming palette beneath the measurement IO and the reverse I can also move the programming palette back by clicking and pressing these double parallel lines moving the programming palette back to where it was previously to its original position In this section, we will see how we can change lab view options, a few lab view options. For example, if we place a control on the front panel, its icon appears in this form on the block diagram. If we want to reduce the space that this icon appears, we have two options. Either we can change the appearance of the individual control by right clicking it and then selecting view as icon but this only affects the control that this option was applied to any new control that we add will again have the same default large icon to apply this option lab view wide we can go to the tools menu then options then the block diagram and then we can remove the check marks from this option in the general section which states place front panel terminals as icons click OK the existing icons will not be affected but if you place a new control on the front panel then its icon will appear in compact less space taking form another option there are lots of options there but another option that you can change is regarding the appearance of the name labels or the own labels of the controls by default it is use transparent name labels suppose we remove this and click OK and let's place a new control see the difference between the labels of these two controls one has the transparency applied you can see the background the other one is not transparent as you can see here it is overlapping the control so this one is transparent this one is not by default the transparent one is a better option to restore it place the check mark use transparent free labels and press OK
So these settings, these options were changed regarding the functions palette and the lab view options. They are not saved with the VI, but they are saved in a separate location since they apply to the entire lab view all VIs and all projects. So where they, uh, these settings are saved? These settings are saved in program files, national instruments, lab view, whatever version you are using, and then the lab view any file. If you want to apply the same settings to LabVIEW installed on some other PC, all you have to do is copy this any file to the destination PC.